Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God on this October the 12th, 2022. And let me say I missed you all yesterday. You know, I did step out for a little bit. Uh, just took me a little time for some R&R. Uh, I do that every now and then, uh, but to God be the glory, I thank God for allowing us to return back and to spend some time with you on today. We have something so exciting that we're going to share with you. We're going to talk about uh, something that we can all definitely consider. How I give determines how I receive. That's right. How I give determines how I will receive and the founding scripture is going to come from 2nd Corinthians the ninth chapter 6 through the 15th verse once again our topic for today is how I give determines how I receive but before we go any further I'd like to say thank you to our covenant partners in prayer awesome awesome individuals that you are truly you are a blessing unto this ministry and we appreciate each and every one of you to kick off as we love to share information about our covenant partners in prayer I invite you to visit you'll overcome ministries that's right it is counseling and mentoring by prophetess Yolanda Lee George you can visit her on her website at www.youllovercome.com not only the, is this woman of God uh, have this uh, mentoring in this counseling uh, ministry she is also a published author and the founder of Imagine Me Creations. So there is a lot you can learn about this awesome woman of God by visiting her website. And if you are in need of Christian counseling, uh, I do believe that uh, there is a space on the website for you to contact her. Once again, that is www.youllovercome.com. You'll Overcome Ministries Christian Counseling. All right, and thank you so very much for our covenant partners in prayer that are in Ghana, Africa, and Akar, Africa. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Pastor Joseph Datsun, we thank God for you and the connection that you have through Charity Lighthouse of Faith Incorporated and have adopted us as well. And so I thank God for that ministry. We actually get a opportunity to email copies of our magazine and newsletter over to Pastor Joseph in Africa. And if you are uh, a ministry that, you know, uh, can receive those emails of our monthly magazine as well as our covenant partners in prayer newsletters simply email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and we will include you on our email subscription list there is no financial obligation whatsoever to be included in this particular uh, email subscription all right so I'm so excited about what we're going to talk about today simply because I love the Word of God and I am the first partaker that's right. I am definitely the first partaker, and I understand that. Uh, and so it hits me first. And I'm going to tell you how this word hit me first. Uh, this morning, I was uh, getting about and, and preparing for my day and uh, sharing some words of encouragement. Uh, we started the Facebook page for Sisters in Unity. Uh, it is a ministry for women just to encourage those individuals and so I was thinking about that and I'm thinking about some other things that I needed to do and I almost got tired just thinking about what I needed to do and the Holy Spirit began to deal with me and correct me about that and just begin to uh, tell me that I needed to refocus uh, how I looked at my day and so I got up and I, you know, began to, you know, prepare and, and get my shower and just the process of rethinking my day, how I saw my 
today I'm going to tell you that it shifted me it really did it shifted my thoughts it shifted my mindset it shifted me and so instead of being uh, lethargic and tired I'm, hey, I'm being transparent and honest here. Uh, instead of being trans, uh, so just lethargic and tired, I was rejuvenated. I I got rejuvenated, and it it was awesome. I am. I found myself in a place of looking forward to what I needed to do and so that tiredness lifted off of me and and the Holy Spirit began to uh, deal with me how I gave my time and so we're going to look at 2nd Corinthians the ninth chapter 6 through the 15th verse and when I look at this I know we always quote the scripture God loves a cheerful giver but do you not know that is in every area of our life on how we give it is more than money and sometimes when we quote the scripture I can tell you that I am 100% guilty of quoting the scripture during the time of offering when I am doing offertory prayer I quote this particular scripture but this morning the Holy Spirit was dealing with me was saying this is in every area of your life whatsoever you give unto the Lord your time your service even your finances your worship your praise your time in the Word of God that we should do it cheerfully it will also connect us to Hebrews 11 and 6 that's right see I love the way God does that and you know what's so funny is uh, earlier I was going to pre-record today and I had another topic and within I think I think uh, I think I was like in the 24 minutes somewhere up in there uh, everything froze and I could not resume and I'm like okay well hey <laughs> you do what you got to do and now you got to go live uh, Hebrews 11 and 6 is definitely tied into 2nd Corinthians 9 6 through 15 because it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him right so let's dig into 2nd Corinthians 9 6 through 15 We'll be back in just a moment. All right, so the word of God says, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. And so I must pay attention on how I sow my time, not just my finances, but I must pay attention on how I sow my time once again this morning when I got up and I began to think about what I needed to do today listen I immediately began to be like oh I got to do this and oh I got to do that well that's not giving myself of service in a cheerful manner it's really not it's giving grudgingly it's not given unto God in a good manner. I should be happy that he has chosen me to do such a work. I should be excited. I'm not going to tell you that every day is sunshine and roses because it's not. I literally enjoy what I do. So don't take me wrong. I enjoy spending time and doing radio ministry. I really do. I enjoy mentoring and pouring into others. I enjoy the uh, position that he has invited me to as assistant pastor here in New Jersey. I enjoy publishing. I enjoy the gifts and talents that he has bestowed upon me. But sometimes, and I'm talking about me, Sometimes I can approach those things in the wrong manner. Sometimes I can have the wrong thought process and say, oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. Or if I'm talking to someone about what I do, it may come across as if I'm complaining and I'm not. And so I thank God for his correction. I thank God for his rebuke. 
that it may bring me into a place of right standing. It brings me into a place of being on the side of righteousness and puts me in a place that guess what? I can move forward from this right here and say, you know what? My thought process has to be in a good place. Because clearly the word of God says, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. And so our word for the day says, how I give determines how I receive. If I give any part of me grudgingly, that's going to be my return. If I give any part of me sparingly, and I'm talking about giving to the will of God, I'm talking about being led and guided by the will of God. When I do things of service for the will of God, how I give it determines what I will receive. It says it right here in the word. It's not my word. It is God's word. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. And so we must pay attention, that coughing you hear in the background that you might hear is, guess what, I'm being auntie today. I am babysitting. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so I have a little one with me today. You know what, it's out of my norm. But you know what, I appreciate spending that time with the little one on today. That's right. So I want you to consider how you give your time. Sometimes we have the job and we complain about getting up going to work, but the bills are being paid. That's right. The bills are being paid. There's food, there's shelter, but we're complaining every day. Oh, I got to get up and go to this job again. These people getting on my nerves. We complain about those things. We complain about those things and but God gave it to us so I, I want to begin and I want to encourage you to begin to shift your mindset begin to get an understanding that how I give what I give and I'm not talking about money because a lot of times we focus only on money this goes beyond money this is our service unto the Lord and how you give unto the Lord and that is everything that he's already given unto us will determine what he will release on back unto us and so if I approach what I have to do every day uh, if I approach uh, doing radio ministry in a negative way grudgingly sparingly not giving my all not taking my time to prepare and to study do you think I'm going to reap anything and and the main thing that I want to reap is that I please God that's the de that that's determination that that that's what I want to receive I want to receive my reward from heaven I want to receive I want to hear him say well done that good and faithful servant it's not that um my I'm not looking for to receive more followers more comments more likes I'm not no 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 I'm looking to receive my reward from heaven is God pleased with what I am doing is he accepting my worship because listen I can't throw any and everything to him I can't just dish out stuff to him because I think that it's good for me and 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 I'm not trying to make sure that it's good for him I want to do things that is pleasing unto his sight and so I want to do it in a certain spirit of excellence I want to do it that it is pleasing unto the Lord and if I follow his instructions if I allow him to lead and guide me I will do his will and not my own. That's right. I want to do the will of the Father. I have to take a break right here because I just want to uh, share and acknowledge our awesome, awesome covenant partners in prayer. 
I thank God for what he has done within this ministry. I thank God for no matter what platform you are tuning in from, whether it is YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Reason FM, no matter the platform, I thank God for allowing you to be a part of our listening audience. We would not do this if it were not for the Lord. And guess what? I believe he gives us what to share with you. So I thank each and every one of you for being a part of the balance of life. Today, our topic is how I give determines how I receive. And I'm not talking about the finances. I'm talking about my time. I'm talking about the intent behind what I do. That my mind, my heart, and my soul are all on one accord with what I am doing. I don't want to think one thing and say another or move and operate in one way. I want to be one with the will of God for my life. And so if I'm going to be one with the will of God for my life, I must do it. And I am grateful. I'm grateful. Verse 7 says, Every man according as he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Well, when it gets to the part of necessity, I'm not just giving unto God because I need something from him. I am grateful because he has given me gifts and talents. He has blessed me. He has given me another opportunity upon the face of the earth. I have the use of my my limbs I can speak I can sing I can rejoice I can read the word I thank you for comprehension I thank him for giving me a revelation of his word listen I don't have all of my wants or my desires but listen my basic needs are taken care of and I am comfortable I may not be where I want to be I may not have everything that I want but guess what to God be the glory and I am grateful Every time the enemy tries to come in to uh, bring in a spirit of doubt or sometimes depression, yes, he'll try to bring that in. He'll try to mess with your mind and begin to get you to think about what you don't have. And that's when you begin to find yourself complaining about what you already have. And, And I begin to look around and I say, Lord, it's not that I'm wanting things because you have given me things. And I'm grateful. And so I begin to examine that spirit. What is this that's trying to rest upon me? Because that's not of God. He has given me, oh God, a lot of the desires of my heart. And and listen, I, I will soon be 50. Uh, and so he's been good to me down through the years. He's been good to me. And so I am learning the Holy Spirit has been dealing with me lately. I'm I'm not going to tell you that it just started, but lately about the renewal of the mind, about adjusting, about stretching, uh, about, Lord, I have some prayers. I have petitions. You've given me a word. Now help me to receive it in my mind. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. My mind has to be renewed. Do you not know that we can begin to thank and praise God for a word that he has given unto us, even for the blessings that are in the word of God, but our minds are not ready to receive it? We have not expanded in our mindset to receive what God has said. So I know he's working on my mindset. He's preparing me. Oh God, for what I can't handle right now. And my mind must be ready. I don't know about you, but I thank him for that. If you've just tuned in, you've tuned into the balance of life. I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is always a honor. Listen, it is indeed a honor and a pleasure to spend the time with you in the word of God. God is faithful. He is just. And I absolutely appreciate all that he does. All that he is in 
my life. I thank God for you. I really do. I thank him because guess what? He allowed us to connect through this avenue, through this platform of ministry. And today we're talking about how I give determines how I receive. How I give determines how I will receive. And I want to hear him say, well done, thy good and thy faithful servant. I want to hear him say that to me. I want him to be pleased with what I did, what I gave. And if I don't give it in the right spirit, if I don't give it from my heart, gratefully and and with excitement and and knowing that what I give is for the kingdom of heaven God will not be pleased and so I want him to be pleased with me and I want him to be pleased with you as well I'm going to uh, let you know that you can go back and listen to today's broadcast via Spryker. Uh, it is our episode 5155510 one and then later today probably about 30 minutes after we get off of the air you can go on to our youtube channel the balance of life with angel ferguson and you can listen to today's broadcast again you can download it take this word in your spirit on today second corinthians 9th chapter 6 through the 15th verse also uh, looking at this particular word brings in Hebrews 11 and 6 where it says but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so you see how those two particular scripture texts they come in together they're one they are definitely one so take the word of God Amen. Take the word of God at its truth, at, at what it is meant to do in our lives. Let's, lead, let's, let's go a little further. Let's lead this way. Amen. Because guess what? I'm the first partaker, so I am leading the way. 2 Corinthians 9 and 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So do you see how I give determines how I will receive? Because as I give abundantly, as I give uh, gratefully, as I give bountifully, it says, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work. And so as I give, oh, and the way I give, God is going to take care of me. That's what that scripture is saying. So however you give, that's, that's, the, that's the return of your harvest. So if I were you, because guess what I'm saying to me? <laughs> guess what I'm saying to me right now? Um, girl, you better get your giving. Pay attention to how you give. Pay attention to how you give. Pay attention to your harvest. That's what I want to say. Pay attention to your harvest. How is your harvest? How is your harvest? What's going on with your harvest? Are, are, are you reaping? Are you getting a return on your harvest? Or it, it, what's going on? What's going on with your harvest? When you begin to pay attention to your harvest, and you, if you're not seeing anything come in from your harvest, then ask yourself, how am I giving? And make sure that your heart is in the right place and don't just give because you want God to do something for you give because he's already given unto us he has already blessed us he has already done so many wonderful things for us and also know that when you give of service that you are giving to the kingdom of heaven that you are helping another life to be developed that you are developing others for the kingdom of heaven you're developing others 
for the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And I'll say amen again. God is good. God is absolutely good. He is wonderful to us. Verse 9 says, As it is written, He hath dispersed abroad. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Let me let me let me read that again. Now he that ministereth seed. See ministering seed is ministering the word of God. That is the richest seed that you can absolutely give. That is the best seed. That is the absolute best seed. There is no other seed that is better than the word of God. And oh, if you can, if you can give a revelation of the seed, if you are permitted to give, give a revelation of that particular seed, then guess what? Oh, to God be the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. To God be the glory. If you are administering the word of God, that is a good seed. Uh, and then you give a revelation that is teaching the people how to survive for the sake of the kingdom. How to live holy. How to do things that are pleasing unto God. So yes, how I give determines how I will receive let me take just a, a moment of a break right here and invite you to visit us on our website at www.angelferguson-ministries dot com via our website you have an opportunity to check out the school of ministry our publishing department hope and truth magazine our covenant partners in prayer also if you would like to uh, get more information about our covenant partners in prayer i'd love to extend an invitation to you Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. There is no financial obligation whatsoever to be our covenant partner in prayer. It is a network of other ministries and businesses sharing tips and tools as well as information. You might find a resource that you find helpful to yourself, to your person, ministry and business or anyone else also let me uh, also make mention that uh, we did extend and open up a Facebook page for sisters in unity right now we do have it set on private until the Holy Spirit uh, gives me otherwise reason to make it public it is a ministry for women if you are interested in in information on sisters in unity please email me today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com i'll get that over to you uh it is for women we meet once a month and we talk about ministry it is a support for the vision that god has given unto you and we cover every area of our lives personal ministry and business and that is sisters in unity i do have two co-founders my partners in prayer prophetess Melissa Melissa Kelly and prophetess Yolanda Lee George all right got those things out of the way let's get more to this word it is so good uh, 2nd Corinthians 9 I'm at the 11th verse as being enriched in everything to all bountifulness which causeth causes through us thanksgiving to God for the administration of this service not only supply of the one of the saints but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto God while it's by the experiment of this ministration they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ and for your liberal distribution unto them and to all men and by their prayer for you which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift listen it is better to give than to receive I'm going to tell you that but I want us to pay attention to how we look at our day go about your day with a different mindset check yourself 
get happy about the service of the Lord and watch you begin to turn things around for your good. Have a blessed day.